living proof that nothing, especially not a disability, can keep you from pursuing your dreams. And she fought all her life really for equality for women, the LGBTQ community, as well as the community people with disabilities. She'd be very pleased and probably more pleased at who will be getting this award in the future. So thank you. We believe in the same thing, and that is that sport has the ability to transform lives. My moment of courage is being the one out there who has to be vulnerable for the next to not have to be in the same position. After two weeks of talking and praying about it, I chose to have my leg amputated. That was the best decision ever. Because nobody really looked at me as the athlete. They looked at me as Nikki with a missing hand. I actually see my disability as a strength and that it builds me as a person. Today, I can look back and I can see how a cancer diagnosis and an amputation of my leg at a young age, followed by, you know, these years of darkness and confusion, and then just a light, a shining light that is Angel City Sports and adaptive sports and that entire community. And the Angel City Games was always a place where I feel like I didn't have to hide who I was or be ashamed of my disability. Um, if you haven't been, please go. It's amazing. <laughs> Let's put up that thermometer and our goal of 200,000. Let's blow that up. We did it, guys!